Hey guys, welcome back. Will Boyles of Will's Meals. And tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious stuffed turkey. Also, I'm also gonna show you how to make your own stuffing. Last week, we had a really good Italian meal. Um, I went and bought some French bread for it. I could make my own, but I didn't have time. So later, I will show you how to make your own French bread. I knew I wanted to stuff a turkey this week, so I put the rest of that loaf of French bread in the freezer. Okay, so here we are out of the freezer and onto our pan. We're gonna let this roast for in the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees. So 200 degrees in 20 minutes, our stuffing will be ready. While I put that in, I'm gonna keep telling you that some of the goodies that are going with stuffing are our onion and celery. I have here, I've got about a oh, couple of tablespoons of butter in my pan. Okay. I read some recipes online. I'm gonna salt and pepper this, salt and pepper onions and celery that we're gonna mix in our um, stuffing. The rest of the line, they had as many as like, there was one stuffing recipe that had three different um, sausages, three different types of sausages, a couple different types of bread. And I said, whoa, this is getting way too crazy for little boils here. So this will be a delicious stuffing. We're gonna use our chicken seasoning with some salt. We're gonna use salt and butter, um, onions and celery. And to moisten our stuffing before we stuff our bird, we're going to use our chicken broth from some past recipes. All right, mainly I showed you how to make that your own chicken broth homemade in the uh, BBFC, the baked butter fried chicken. So this is a uh, chicken broth from our last chicken meal that I showed you, showed you how to make. Okay, um, come back to me in 20 minutes and we'll take our stuffing out of the oven. All right, our 20 minutes at 200 degrees is up on our stuffing. Thanks for sticking around. Let's go ahead and get it out. Here we go. I'm gonna mix it in this bowl here so you guys can see. I don't have a glass clear bowl, so I thought you could see a little bit of that plastic. Here is our sauteed um, onions and celery with our butter. And again, that chicken broth we're going to mix in. Pan will be fairly hot, so let's go ahead and get this sucker going. And it's really not complicated. And you've got the decent amount of butter already in, oh, my knife didn't go all the way through on that one. Decent amount of butter already in the pan. You don't have to go out and waste money on stuffing, just uh, use some leftover bread, stuff it away. Here is our, this is only one celery stock, by the way. But here's your Thanksgiving turkey, of course, big old turkey, we'd want more, and I dish your pan on the side. And oh, about a quarter of an onion, if that. Let's get that all mixed up. And once I have it mixed in around all our now hardened breadcrumbs, hardened from the oven bake, we can go ahead and soften it up with some of your very inexpensive homemade chicken broth. that we made the very last chicken meal that we put together. So I'm gonna mix this up and be back with you soon. All right, welcome back once again. Now it's time to stuff our chicken. In the leftovers this time of the chicken, we're going to make a chicken and dumpling meal. So let's see, what do we have so far? We had chicken and rice, chicken and bean, chicken and noodle. This is chicken and dumpling. The last one will be uh, chicken and potato, or chicken and potato soup. So you wanna always make sure you season the inside of your bird. I've got the gizzard out of the bird. Okay, that's all your gizzard. I think I showed you that on the, the baked butter fried chicken as well. You wanna go back and look at that. Um, let's get inside the carcass. This is that Mrs. Dash, which is sodium free, so I can control the salt. I told you before, I'm a heart patient, so I don't want too much salt in mine. All right, I've also removed the skin off of the top of these beautiful chicken breasts here. And let me show you what we're gonna do. We're going to stuff the carcass of the bird. Oops, excuse my mess. And on top of that, we're going to put stuffing in between the skin and the chicken breast. It's just a great, great seasoning for our uh, chicken. And it helps keep the bird good and moist. You're used to that dark meat being more moist than the white 
Um, if you stuff inside like this, I like to get down as far as I can. So we got our butter, a little bit of olive oil was in there when I sauteed uh, the onions and celery. So butter, olive oil, our breadcrumbs, and our chicken seasoning are all going in to season those chicken breasts and the rest of the bird. All right, let me finish stuffing this and then we'll be right back. Once again, we've got our bird completely stuffed. I might add some extra stuffing, so I put some down here into the thighs, the chicken thigh cavities as well. All right, so now let's work on how we're going to doll up the rest of our chicken. This is our soft butter. All right, so not our stick butter, but our soft butter. I'm gonna put some soft butter in here. All right, and to that soft butter, we're gonna add our chicken seasoning. Can't remember if I told you on the stuffing, but I'm looking at recipes, and one of them, no kidding, they called for 19 different seasonings. <laughs> 19 different ingredients uh, that you're supposed to be seasoning your, your chicken with. And I thought, that's just a little bit getting carried away for me, especially when many of them are right in uh, my favorite chicken seasoning here. So I hope that you will do the same. I just think it's short. Like, I mean, I can't expect, I'm trying to save you money with Will's Mills. I can't expect you to go out and have 19 different seasonings that you'll use for other things, but 19 different seasonings just for your chicken. This was the same one that had the two different kinds of sausages, two or three, two, a couple different types of bread to put in your bread. Uh, stuffing so i thought let me make this really simple my leftover french loaf from that leftover italian meal my favorite italian or uh, chicken seasoning and salt salt this has all by the way been patted dry my chicken with a couple paper towels all right and i try to save you so much i even hate wasting paper towels but they do seem to work the best stuff like this patting dry your chicken all right, now you want to, you don't have to put this on a rack is what I'm gonna say. Most people say that you do. My roaster, my roasting pan that has a rack is really for the size of a turkey. It's this big, huge roasting pan. So rather than use that big old pan for this little $5 chicken, I think this one was $5.50, $5.65 or something like that. Um, I'm going to build my own rack for my chicken. Here's our patella. Carrots and celery, okay. We're gonna put these carrots in as well. And then just about all of this chicken broth. All right, I've got to clean up my hands and get my um, get my twine out to truss up my chicken. I get my truss to truss up the chicken. I'm okay, right. back with my truss and I wanna apologize. I forgot to have my lapel microphone on. Um, so you probably heard that echo and maybe a little background noise from the beginning. So I do apologize. Hopefully this will be more clear from this point of our stuffed chicken on. Okay, our truss, our, I got mine at, on Amazon. Sometimes you can get it at Walmart, sometimes uh, your grocery store. If not, you can go to your butcher and tell me what truss. All right, looking at how you do this, there's several different ways to truss a chicken. I picked what I think is the easiest and most effective way. Um, there's some trussing instructions <laughs> online out there that you gotta like go to a Navy or Coast Guard not tying school in order to uh, figure out how to do it. I mean, they're like, some they're put like a little knot right here connected to the tail. I mean, I just, it just gets crazy. So to me, here's the simplest way as my video photographer comes forward here. Put it right under the entire bird. Okay. Put it over the legs like that. And then just put it over each leg. Keep in mind, we haven't even tied a knot yet. We don't have to go to ship knot tying school. Okay, we're over our uh, chicken breasts. Gonna go down across our chicken wings here to get them up for our chicken. And then you may want to just twist this a few times to keep it from coming untied. There's one twist, there's two, there's three, which is probably enough because I'm anal. Let's do four, three, three twist, four twist. And then you'll hold it and see since we twisted it, how it doesn't come apart. And plus, since it's twisted, all you have to do is tie it one time. All right, so there is your trust chicken. Wonderfully, beautifully seasoned. All right, then we're gonna pop this up, put it on here. I've got my oven preheated. Let's turn these around to make it more level. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Okay. Got our chicken on our homemade rack. Okay. 
carrots give me trouble. Ah, that's good. That's plenty. As you can see, I like celery, but my family likes carrots more than they do celery. <laughs> that's why there's so much celery there. Let's go ahead and pour in the rest of our chicken broth. This is going to make a wonderful little gravy mix for the chicken when it's finished. Okay, I'm going to grab some aluminum foil and put it in the oven. I'll be right back with our reusable aluminum here. We got the shiny side down on the chicken. What we're going to do, we're going to put a little uh, tent around it, similar to your Thanksgiving turkey. And we're going to let this go at a 400 degree oven about, oh, 35 or 40 minutes with the tent on it. We're going to take it out, take our aluminum flow off and leave it in another 20, 30 minutes. So it just browns and crisps up beautifully. I can't wait to show it to you. We'll be back soon. Okay, folks, welcome back. We've got our uh, stuffed chicken that we add in for 40 minutes with the foil on top. Probably another 20 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees with the foil off. Let's take a look at that. So I did, uh, I put some foil on top of the chicken breast because they were getting possibly too brown, as you see there. So here we have the beauty of Maximus stuffed chicken. All right, next step. We want to let this cool for about, oh, 10 minutes. Let uh, everything get back in the meat. So I'm going to cover it up for 10 minutes and then we are going to chow now. We for that to cool 10 minutes. I got our veggies and our chicken under here. Um, we're going to in the pan here. We're going to make a sauce covering for our chicken. Now, if it was flat out gravy, I would use cornstarch and water, but I don't want it as thick as gravy. So I've got two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of flour. All right, and I've got, I didn't use it all as you can see. I've got my burner on under here. And keep in mind, this is the, all of the juice, that chicken broth and the juice that ran from the turkey, from our celery and carrots. I probably should have put uh, onion in here as well for flavor. I just forgot, so please forgive me for that. But if you're watching my recipe, I would definitely have onions in the pan along with your um, carrots and celery. Let's go ahead and continue to stir this up. As you can see, we've got the front burner on. Okay, we're going to need chunks of flour. That is good looking. That is good tasting. Okay. Let me stir it a little bit more, thicken up just a little bit more, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, pump up for a Okay. Like I say, don't want this as thick. It's just starting to bubble up. Don't want it as thick as a gravy. All right, I got the stove. In goes our deliciousness. Don't get burnt, videographer. And this is going to be a delicious sauce to go over our chicken that I am about to carve. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and cut our very non-complicated truss. But look at that yummy stuffing just oozing out into that leg. So on this leg, looks like we got it. Okay. Um, best way to do this is going to be to grab a fork Let's see how the stuffing looks on our chicken. All right, so we're gonna go right down. The wishbone is back here. Some people take out the wishbone first. I don't, because once it's cooked, you can just, uh, you can knife right through that wishbone. And there you are right through the wishbone. And there you have so chicken breast. Let's see if we're gonna serve someone Got a big eater, and you're going to serve half a chicken. Look at the juice running on this. That's how moist it is. You would serve them this half of the chicken here. Okay. And then the rest of this I'll cut up. Just like uh, getting that baked butter fried chicken, how I cut up a raw chicken. I'm going to cut this up the same way. And uh, the rest on a different video, the, the soups we're going to make out of the leftovers of this chicken. Again, it's going to be chicken and dumpling, and I'll show you that on a separate video. So before we start eating, let's get our veggies over here. Okay, I will cut these up for the fam. And we have stuffing, of course, chicken, carrots, and celery. So would you say grace with me before we start eating? 
Your Heavenly Father, we bow before you, Lord. We thank you for this food. We thank you for this bounty, Lord. We pray the uh, nourishment will give us strength and healing so we may better serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I know I already said grace, but my videographer wanted a video of what it looks like plated. This is half of the chicken plated, um, and this is stuffed as well. This is our sauce that you can see is not as thick as a gravy. That's our beautiful chicken sauce, and you can put that on whatever part of the meal you want to put it on. And once again, bon appetit. We will see you next time.